Hi, good day. I'm Raymond Guarro Inoues, uh, visual artist and free software specialist. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I think uh, it's the proper way to organize a project and its folders and files, etc. Um, perhaps not the proper way to organize, but um, some hints on what to do and what not to do more or less, okay? Um, so the first uh, thing we are going to see is how a proper project organiza organization doesn't look like, okay? And for this, I'm showing you this example here. Mm -hmm. First, in this project, that it's this project here, this folder here, it's not clear what the root root of the project is because I have this project inside this other folder which was intended to contain blend files, okay? And this is inside this other folder that at the first uh, sight it looks more or less uh, well organized, okay? But this is kind of a sub-project of this other project. It's inside this blend uh, folder and um, so this makes it mm, not really clear where the root, the main folder of the project is. So this is the first thing. You can also see that inside this folder there are several types of files and this is also not a good thing, generally speaking. Okay, there is a PDF, there is some uh, several uh, cartographic uh, bases, okay, those are blend files, um, those are blend files also, uh, there are some folders that we don't need uh, exactly what they are, those are these, those other folders with uh, orthophotography, other cartographic bases with other files inside, so um, it's not clear the organization of uh, file types, okay? And the last thing that makes this not a proper, not a good uh, organization, it's that uh, there is not a clear naming convention, convention, excuse me. At the end you can see that all the issues are related, okay? I don't know what those folders are, I don't have any information looking at the name of the folder containing it. And um, I changed the way I, I named all those files. Um, the blend files also don't tell us anything, etc, etc, etc. But um, the point is that this is a messy organization, okay? So the key characteristics of a good organization are those three that I'm going to tell you now. Now, um, the first uh, important thing is organize all files of the same type in the same folder, okay? The second important thing is having a consistent naming convention, okay? having a system that uh, makes uh, easy to you to decide uh, what is the name that I'm putting to this file or this folder, okay? And that uh, makes you easy, makes easy for you, excuse me, uh, to some weeks, ago, some weeks later or years later to understand what uh, is inside uh, some particular folder. And the third thing, it's built an organization of folders that makes uh, them easy for relative paths usage, okay? This is related on how, uh, how uh, files are linked each uh, in between uh, each other, okay? When, I have, when I'm uh, working in, a, in Enscape, and having images uh, inside Inkscape, how those images are linked uh, from, from outside the application. Okay, so three things. Um, 
files of the same type in the same folder, consistent naming convention, and organization for relative paths usage. Let's see how those uh, principles uh, apply in a real life case. Okay, uh, we can see this in this project. This other project, it's kind of the opposite uh, that we we have seen just a moment uh, just a moment ago. Okay, this is a project, also a recent project. Um, and uh, as you can see at the, at the first look, you can see that uh, there is several particular folders for several type of data, okay? Uh, we'll see this later, just in a moment. First thing I, I would like to show you is that I have all the, all the different projects in a folder called like this, that makes me easy to synchronize all the projects, all the current kind of current projects uh, between my com my desktop computer and my laptop, okay. And the the name of the project folder is like this. I'm starting with uh, the year, then the month, then the day when I started to work in this project, okay. And this way, I can make easy to organize the the projects chronologically, okay, just by name, clicking by name, projects get ordered uh, in chronological order uh, and not the order when they are modified because you know that um, perhaps it has nothing to do when you last modified a project the, um, in relation to when you start to, started to work on it, or, okay, and sometimes it's important to keep uh, projects organized by the, their starting data, okay? So this is uh, a first important thing, the, the way you, the place where you store uh, the projects and the, the naming convention of the main folder. Mm, you can see the, that all the, all the types of files are organized within particular folders, okay? This is a folder intended for Inkscape files and within this folder I have even another folder just for exporting PNGs, okay? There is a folder for renders, inside I have many, many, many subfolders for sub uh, particular rend renders, peer data folders with all organization of patches, etc, etc, etc. Promo, uh, that just contains all promo materials and, and images and similar things, uh, documentation, blend files, etc, etc, etc. Okay. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you about this well-organized project is um, the uh, relative linking uh, between files I told you before. Um, this is, uh, I, I will show you this in, uh, in an example in Blender, but you could uh, apply this to most uh, more or less complex software in Illustrator and Inkscape, um, Premiere, Blender, uh, After Effects, etc, etc, etc. Okay, you can see uh, here we have a model of a, a part of a church, okay? And this model have a normal map texture that it's uh, the one here, okay? Not a really complex normal map, but whatever. And this, uh, this image that I'm using as a normal map has this uh, path to access it, okay? And this path is not relative to my uh, hard drive, okay? But to the project folder, okay? To this, uh, excuse me, this project, this folder here, okay? So uh, I can change this whole folder. I can take this folder and put it in another computer in another operating system, whatever, and it will work. 
And this is the great thing of this uh, way of organizing things. Okay. Uh, to finish, just another kind of a side note, but related to this also, I have a data folder in my main uh, folder structure of my operating system, a data and a data one folder, which uh, those uh, two folders serve to store the more permanent data. Okay, so if I wanted to, for example, uh, um, clean my, the contents of my hard drive for a better performance or whatever the reason, I can just uh, save or backup, backup uh, those folders or just worry about those two folders and wipe out the rest because uh, operating system and applications are kind of easy to replace but not the, the permanent data you work with. For example, uh, all my images are inside this uh, folder images, okay? So it's uh, all, almost all my history. So I want to keep this folder safe for at all cost, okay? So I hope uh, you got some interesting points. Uh, um, if you like the video, please um, push the like button. And if you have comments, questions, or um, personal recipes that you want to share with us, please leave it in the comments too. And nothing else. Thanks for watching and goodbye.